Welcome back everybody to my channel Small Business Resources. Today we're going to cover a uh, scheduling software called Appointee and going to cover three different things on here today. Um, we're going to go over the dashboard and uh, some of the features and tools that you have within your dashboard. Uh, number two, we're going to look at um, some of the add-ons and integrations and then how to embed and integrate your calendar and services into your website for your business. And then the third thing we're going to cover today is the um, package comparison, what features you get depending on the price that you pay. So let's dive right into this. Okay, so once you go here, um, you're going to go ahead and in the link or in the description below, I have uh, a link to to get signed up. And once you get logged in, you are going to come to your dashboard here. So we're just going to go through some of these tools and um, discuss these briefly. So here is your dashboard. And if you go down here to the very bottom right, you can upgrade your plan. Of course, there's a 14 day trial that gives you all the features that you want, but the free plan is forever, no credit card needed. But you can go here and you can um, upgrade which plan at any time. Okay, so let's go back or close this. Um, next one is a uh, quick start guide. This just kind of helps you go through, get your logo and your portal set up, preview your booking portal here integrate on your website, but we're going to cover that here in a little bit. Next one, you can change your background image. And then sometimes the chat is available depending on the time of day. I was talking to support yesterday The if the traffic is low, the chat could be available for you. If not, chat live chat is only available on the paid plans. Circling around up here to the top right, you have your uh, notifications that will show up. Okay, and then once you have that bar show up, you'll have again your booking portal link. You have um, you can turn on SMS messaging notifications, change your password. This is notifications again, customers, and reviews. Okay, so you can add an appointment right here if you have customers you can add a new customer a customer if you have a customer base you can just add them for a new uh, meeting or you can just add a new customer at any time there okay so next we have your actual calendar which you're gonna go up here and you can filter through if you have uh, different staff members um, quick calendar is just the week you can adjust um, go to your navigate through the weeks there and then you can view by month as well. Okay, moving right along. We have our dashboard, which just gives you an overview of appointments, sales, new customers, shows staff matrix, just a, another view of more reporting. And then you can go to your customers. If you have a customer base, as people sign up, they will become customers inside uh, this view, inside your portal. And then you have different reports. You can just go through here. I'm not going to get into it, but you can navigate through some of the reports as you get going and start utilizing the program. Marketing. Okay, you can create gift certificates. Turn it on. We can have discount coupons. Want to create a new one? You just come up here to the add a discount coupon. And then again, we have offers. You can add an offer up here. Discount coupons and offers are very similar. One thing you need to know the difference between these two is that offers are going to be after the people have signed up for an appointment or scheduled something with you. You can put offers on there. Discount coupons are kind of offering a coupon for the actual initial sign up. We're going to go now to uh, settings. Just go through and this is where you're going to set up all of your services. This is going to your, your business profile, staffing options, availability, login options, booking confirmation, rules and layout, lead and cancellation time, payment rules, uh, restrictions, customizations. You can customize the email, add-ons. Um, you can click here for add-ons. So for example, um, just reading up here, 
They're for items for sale that you can add to customers' receipts. For example, shampoos or creams or optional extras that are consumed as a part of an appointment. So your customer would get signed up, they get the confirmation, you can then put like a um, up sale or an add-on that they can click on and purchase from there. Okay, intake form. You can actually create a form that your customers can take a look at at the time of booking. So you can enable this over here and add different fields for that. It just allows you to collect some more data. Go back and then look and feel, okay? So this is where you can add some CSS and things like that to the look and feel of your, your booking layout or your booking portal. We get into comparing the package pricing. Pricing Some of the uh, features are available depending on what package you are in. So we'll get into that here next, okay? So moving on, number two, now I wanna get into the actual marketplace, okay? These are apps and integrations that you can use, okay? So active apps, these are Google Calendar. Now, you can sync this on the free plan, and we'll get into this when we compare the packages, but the Google Calendar, there is a one-way sync, which means you can book an appointment and then that syncs up to your actual Google Calendar. So when you go to your Google Calendar, you will see the appointment there. Now, if you want to do a two-way sync, what that does is it allows Google, your current Google Calendar to come into the calendar view here of your appointee. And so anything you would have on your Google Calendar will show up right here in your appointee calendar, and it kind of syncs that way. So that is only on the paid plan, so um, pay attention to that. Going back to Marketplace, PayPal, Authorize.net. We'll get into payment processing if you're charging for your services, which, which payment processes are available with the free plan and the paid plan. Calendar apps. You can, of course, sync this up with your you know, iCal, Outlook Calendar, Google Calendar. Again, one-way sync, two-way syncs. Payment gateways. Square is the only one available on the free plan, but you can. I'll show you how to access all of the comparisons for that and then Stripe, PayPal, and Authorized.net are on the um, paid plans. Social, you can actually promote and accept bookings using your Facebook page, which is very useful. And then you go into analytics, can you get powerful insights on you know, the traffic of your, your appointee portal. Google Tag Manager, you can add, this is a lot of SEO backend stuff, and then Facebook Pixel. Uh, I don't know if you if you haven't heard of Facebook Pixel, the best way to explain that is um, if you're if you see an ad on your if you're just surfing Facebook and you see an ad pop up from a website that you visited like earlier that day, that is Facebook Pixel. People will uh, businesses will put a code into the back end of their website, and most likely you are logged in to your Facebook when you're surfing the internet. Okay, so if you uh, click on somebody's website, they have a Facebook pixel code in there that says, hey, this person looked at our website. Now I'm going to put an ad of our company onto their profile or onto their Facebook feed. So their, their, um, their business shows up. So it's kind of like, hey, you looked at me earlier. Here is some more information. Do you want to sign up for our service? So that is Facebook pixel. Very powerful. Reserve with Google, this is new. Um, you can let customers find and book you using Google search. Okay. Um, so if someone searches uh, your service, okay, they might, you may come up in a Google search and then you can, what this um, app will do, this integration will do, allow them to book right within the Google. And then this is new, Zoom meetings, so you can schedule meetings for your business with the popular meeting solution. Okay, so you can sign in and sync your Zoom meetings. So what that looks like, if someone wants to um, sign up for your service, you can actually integrate the Zoom. So it will create a code and create a meeting all right then and there. So you just go connect that. Okay, while we're on here, I'm just going to show you how can you go once you create your service once you create your booking portal okay so you're ready to start scheduling you you're going to go over here let's go back to your myspace area okay and you're going to go down here to quick start guide 
and it says right here, integrate on your website. So first thing is you have your booking a portal right here. This is the link that you can just put a button on your website and it links right to your booking portal, which is maybe the safest bet. However, with this, you have to be on a paid plan to brand your appointee portal. Otherwise, it'll just look pretty basic like this. But if I were to just click on that, you can see if a customer clicks on your portal, they will come to this, so it's a free consult. So let's just say I want someone for my web design company to sign up for a free consult. They wanna learn more about it. They're gonna click on here, and they're gonna click on this, and you go down here to next, and then you can choose the availability. So what I have here is Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have some availability. So let's say they go 20, June 22nd, they're gonna choose a time, they're gonna put in the email, and you can actually in the settings choose sign up as a guest um, and you can kind of configure that in the settings part. Okay, so you just have them walk through this and then boom, you're notified. It shows up on your Google Calendar and there you're set. So let's say you want to embed it into your website. There's a couple ways to do that. Okay, so you have full page, overlay, and button widget. You can go down here and you can choose um, default category, service, staff, start date, start time. So you can embed or you know control the way it looks on your website. Now, depending on what platform you're using, uh, Pointy, the, the embed code may or may not um, work properly with the platform you're using. So you're always safe by just using the um, booking link. Okay, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So let's just start here with the full page widget, it's just an iframe. I'm gonna copy this code, and I've got a row set up into my own EasyClick platform that you can check out. All right, I'm using it as an example. So you're just gonna to go to widgets, and we're gonna go down here to the HTML code, put that in there, and I'm gonna paste this code right here, update, And you can see this is what it would look like if you bet it into your own site, okay? So the next thing we can do, let's go over here. Let's close this. Let's go and see what does it look like to do an overlay widget. I um, This one looks kind of cool, and this, this one you may want to utilize on your website, okay? So I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to go back and replace it. I'm gonna update, and what this does is it adds an actual button over here on the right side for you to schedule an appointment. I think this one, if you don't want it like right in someone's face, you could have this button over here on the side show up all the time. So this is another good option. Um, let's go back up here and let's just do what the button widget looks like, which you can create easily create a button on most website platforms and um, just add the booking link right here, or you can just embed it. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. We're gonna go here and add the button code. And that looks like this, schedule an appointment, okay? So those are the different ways that you can set up or um, integrate and embed and even embed your uh, website or your pointy calendar scheduler into your website. Okay, so the last thing, number three, I wanna look at is the pricing. Okay, you can find the pricing by just scrolling down here to pricing, compare plans, and then it looks like this. So you have monthly and yearly. So monthly, you can see the price does go up quite a bit. So let's just take a look at the yearly, the annually, okay? So you could see everything right here, and then what I wanna do is just go down to see all the features to kind of get a comparison, okay? So you can see it carries over, so it's um, nice and easy to, you, to um, see. So staff, you can have one staff. Growth, five bucks a month professional you get more but then you, you're gonna 
pay a little more to add on because you get more features. So services, appointments, a um, couple of the ones, I mean, you can look at the rest, but a couple of ones I want to point out that we already looked at inside the dashboard. Let's go into automate, okay? So you get all of these things with all, um, all features including the free, or all plans including the free one. Now the two-way Google Calendar Sync, remember the, um, the, you can set up Google Sync one way where you create an, uh, a point, someone creates an appointment through your portal and then it shows up on your Google Calendar. That's fine, that's available on the free one. But if you wanna pull in all of your Google, uh, Google Calendars, if you want to pull in your Google Calendar, all of your events from Google into your appointee calendar, that is a two-way sync, and that is um, on the p the paid plan starting with growth. Okay. Let's go now in here to marketing. Um, Google listings. That thing I showed you about show uh, people being able to sign up right through a Google search is available on all plans. Deals and discounts to customize those you have to be on a paid plan and gift certificates doesn't show up till the professional Moving on to manage Okay, I, I talked about here the accept payments through square That is the only one that comes with the free plan if you want stripe paypal or authorized.net You got to look into the growth plan or up And then moving on to customize um, the customizations, you can add a Google, uh, interactive Google map of where your location is. If you have a brick and mortar shop and you want to put your map on there, you can do that with all the plans. Uh, if you want to uh, remove the branding or the powered by appointee, you've got to be on the enterprise. And if you want to showcase your logo and colors and things like that, you have to be on the growth plan. That really is um, everything you really need to know about appointee. Make sure you look down in the description. I have some great resources you can link to along with um, a link to sign up. And there's also a WordPress plugin that you can add if you're using the WordPress platform. They got a plugin that you can integrate the appointee scheduler right from your WordPress. Make sure that you click on the subscription down below, subscribe, and then the bell notification so you, can, you don't miss my next video. So hope that helps everybody. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and look forward to seeing you on the next one.